All right, so I was out doing some shopping, and as I come back home, I noticed that my service engine soon light popped on. So since I just got home, I got my scan tool. Let's see why my service engine light popped on. Boom. Scan tool's coming on. Connecting. Coolant thermostat temp below temp. All right. So I'm wondering, that's stored. Does it tell me when? Is that what's causing this right now? Low thermostat. Prepare immediately. Regulating temperature. to essential system components, if not repaired yet. All right, so the coolant 165. Uh, I don't want to erase it. To mass of volume airflow circuit range performance. All right, so that was something. That's what I'm thinking it is that I was gonna clean out, but C3 coolant thermostat. Hmm. So I'm wondering if I have low coolant again. I haven't done anything with my coolant since last year. Thought I had a leak, couldn't find anything leaking. Well, I found the cap was leaking. So I did a flush, my brake line exploded on me during the coolant flush, then I had to change all my brake lines. And I haven't had any problems with anything since, but let's see why I got this on here again, because my coolant temp is below range again regulating temperature even though I got 165 Prepare immediately yes I know I don't want to take any chances so let's kill it all right so I'm gonna let it cool off then I'm gonna check my coolant level all right so showing that the coolant thermostat Scroll down. Right. And then I got a master volume airflow circuit range performance. My mass sensor might be acting up. Maybe I just got to clean it. Or maybe it fell off. The little connection. Well, I mean, it's midnight right now. I'm not going to get too much into this. This is for another day. That's something I gotta look into. This is stored. I should have cleared it last time. It's still here though. But now I know I gotta check my mass sensor, my mass airflow sensor. Maybe my filter's plugged, who knows? But I gotta find out why I'm getting that fault. Alright. Oh, that's connected. I need to get new bushings. and clips. <laughs> Don't throw it good. I gotta get new clips, definitely. Filter does not look bad. Nope. Oh, a little ripped up here. Not liking that. Eh, it doesn't look really dirty. I'll clean that up a little. But it's another day.
Let's remove this mass airflow sensor and clean it. It's right here, right behind my air filtration box. I'm also gonna put a new air filter in here. I'm at the new house and I'm still maneuvering with very limited amount of tools. But one thing I have that at least makes it easier is a drill with a 516. Pull that out. So, loosen that one. These two clamps. One thing I wish I had on me that I don't is I got new grommets to replace those. They're just in my other van. That's okay. Here's our mass airflow sensor. And those little relay, I mean those little, uh, resistors in here. Those are the mass airflow sensors themselves, those little resistors. I'm gonna be adding a new filter because this thing's a little ripped up, which could have led to my P10, P0109 or 101 fault. Oh, that hurts my ears. Really, dude? <laughs> it's laughing at me. It's like, yeah, dude. Tell me it hurts your ears. I'm gonna do it again, do it again, do it again. Okay, that's loose though. So now what I gotta do is I just, where's the, I had a big screwdriver, one of the few things I have here. <clears throat> There we go, and we're off. So, I mean, we do have some stuff on here where the air has to go through before my sensors, because the air's gonna come through this way, it has to go across that, and then in. I mean, this does look a little dirty. What I also want to know is why didn't this just come off? I wonder if I should get a new one of these. It's so stubborn. airflow sensor down for a second. Spray those sensors, the sidewall around it. I want nothing still on here when I'm done.
This is crap that just doesn't want to leave. I'd be like, you're wasting so much of it. I'd be like, yeah, whatever. Make sure you don't hit those sensors. Or else you'll be soldering in new little 10K resistors, probably. I feel like there's a lot of crap I just rinsed off. There's still a lot of crap in here. Oh, I don't think the camera could pick it up as good as my eyes were. So now I gotta let it dry out. Outside it's never gonna dry though. Inside though, I don't know how strong the fumes are. The whole thing became almost the same color. I know, no high pressure air. So now I gotta let it all dry out. Let's get everything back together so we can get it onto the car. This is gonna go this way because it's got this weird like tailpiece that comes in. Besides that, it's also got like this little dimple piece that has to fit in. That when it tightens, goes back. See this? goes between the air box so if this was sitting on my air box let's just see makes sense this piece is going to come in and lock on the bottom I have two of those. That definitely tucks in. Okay, so that's tucked in to the air box. This goes in. Yeah, this was that tight friggin' fit. It would have been easier to put it on first, but. I can just see the airbox snapping. <laughs> Never know. I wonder if it's time for a new gasket if it's so tight. It seems strange with how tight it is. Now only one of these line up. It makes it seem out of place, like I may have put it back wrong in the past. But there's no way that's possible because the next one has to go all the way in. 
this wouldn't break it and then that sensor is deep inside and the wiring comes over here okay, let's put this here this can't go that way I'm just trying to make sense of why this just seems too tight you don't want this because it's the way the air has to go That's in right there. That might be the secret. Take off. So put this on first. Then put this onto here. Because here doesn't have. Just needs to go on. That's good. Now this has to go in here before I go that far. To put this here. My new air filter. This one got a little damaged, all ripped up and chewed up. It's not even too old. You can even see over here. I'm wondering if, well, let's compare. Uh, okay, maybe when they molded the sides, they made it stick out a lot. I remember it was a little sloppy when I got it. This has a better cut. Oh yeah, that's a tighter fit. Well, this was never really a tight fit. This went in somewhat tight, yeah. Eh, we'll see. Could also be D's missing and the clip missing, beat it up quicker. I do have that clamp and the one for here. I wanna try to get a few more for these because I'm missing three on the bottom. I'm missing all five, I've got two now. Two that are in decent shape. And after that, I gotta get a lot more. So now this. In, okay. Now, this one has to tuck into the bottom. I have to get a new clip. Even if I have to buy a whole new box. Uh, and I can fasten all this back together. What well, makes me wonder if I put it in the right spot? Because I thought it was going this way, in, not like this, more like that. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. I've always remembered it going down, not over. Now let's pull this out. Something just makes it seem not right. Yeah, 
I can see, I know the arrows airflow. Yeah. Whoa, I wonder with the vise, put the chain on, turn it. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm not. This thing's a bit of a pain to get it to turn. sweet that makes better sense because now Now I gotta fix the gasket. It's not in this gasket, right? Oh, oh now I need to replace the discharge air sensor. I just killed it. <laughs> I'm sure it survived. Only bounced on its electric part. But this is supposed to be like that. Pretty sure this was like this on here, and it's just plugged in just like that. I'm not gonna plug it in until I have it all back together. Could be wrong, but that's pretty much what I've always thought it was. those gaskets this doesn't sit right okay I'll bring this up and in There we go. Ah. Now is what I'm used to seeing with it up. <laughs> it just looked weird when it was on the side. I might have changed how it initially was once upon a time. I'm not going to say there's no way I could have done that. But this is what I'm used to seeing. It's all back together. The clip broke. I should get a new, new cord. But it stays pretty tight. All right. Now to find out if I destroyed the discharge air sensor, I gotta get the key. See what happens. So it's gone. Yeah, one thing is still not gone that I don't like. Turn it off. Actually, it started a lot better. Usually it wouldn't catch right there and then it sounds like it's like the starter goes too far. I was thinking I had a PC, P, 
PVC valve, PCV. So, it's a little rough now. A little rougher than usual. But here's a problem I gotta take care of. Right here. I have a bolt busted. So I gotta take care of this. That one bolt is friggin' busted right there. And I got a new gasket to replace it. So, uh, this should be fun. I got smoke, but just condensation. So I gotta fix the exhaust. Let's see on my dash, no lights. That got rid of the, uh, that fault code. But it is pretty, I'm not used to being in a garage. So, well, it's time to pretty much wrap it up, go back home. <coughs> I got a chirp now. One of my belts is either the belt or one of my accessories is starting to wear. Right. These are gonna go on, I'm, I gotta go online. I went to the Chevy dealer and they only had one, or else I would've bought five. But it's not like any discolored, like, exhaust. Till next time, I'm out.